Yo, how's it going, my young grasshoppers? It's your main man, Exquisite XBL Arazi Haz. Bringing you a gameplay here on the map Carbon. Gonna be my second Moab on this map, and this is actually going to be an Akimbo Scorpion Moab, although I do maybe get in between 5 and 10 kills with the PM9 submachine gun, which isn't really that bad. I have another Moab with it as well. I'd just like to point out, I'm a little bit disappointed right now because I just, I've been trying to get an MK14 Moab, and I keep dying around 15 and 20 kill streak with it, and that really didn't make me mad, and I switched to the U-12. And I went on a 23 gun streak and I died one off and I, I mean that just really put me in a bad mood. But anyways, I'm using the PM9 as my main uh, my main weapon, submachine gun. But I'm running around mostly with the Kimbo Scorpion. So hopefully you all enjoy the gameplay. Although I do have a, a life story that I want to talk about. I was doing, you know, the quotations, the bunny ears. Um, this is going to be a story that happened at a party a couple years back. Two of my buddies, they were throwing like a graduation party. It wasn't even, it wasn't graduation night or anything like that, but it was just for, it was for their 18th birthday. And it was a really big party. They were moving out of their house. They were actually getting, um, they were selling their house. So they had to re, you know, they had to take everything out. But it was, they have a giant house, this old house. And uh, we basically had the house to ourselves. And they wanted to throw a huge party. And they ended up buying like three kegs. And honestly, at least 200 people showed up and it was a huge party it was complete it was just like you know word to mouth people were spreading the word and uh you know we didn't invite 200 people we invited like 50 or something but it's just everybody brought friends and then you know so on and so forth anyways i'm chilling you know i don't drink or anything like that so all those there's these guys are fucking wasted drunk there's drugs and stuff going on and you know I'm chilling up in a room. This is like an eight-bedroom house, maybe even more than that. I'm chilling in a room with my girlfriend. You know, I think we were actually just trying to go to sleep and just get away from all the fucking commotion because this shit was out of control. And I'm just laying there. Randomly, um, one of my friends comes up, and I just want to mention this. My friend is six foot three, and he walks up with a black guy. I'm not racist or anything, but he was black. He was African American. And uh, this black guy was taller than my friend, so he had to be at least 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and he had to weigh at least around, you know, 250, 250 to 300 pounds. He wasn't fat, he was just fucking a giant. And basically my friend was like, yo, did you steal this guy's knife? Like, do you have this guy's knife? And I was like, I was like, what, what are you talking about? Do I have this guy's knife? What the fuck do I look like, a, a knife burglar? Like, what am I going to steal this guy's knife for? And supposedly this gigantic, super drunk, probably cocaine out, fucking, you know, Charlie Sheened out. A winning. Is, uh, you know, accusing me of stealing his knife. And he basically says, if I, if I come, I'm going to come back in like five minutes. And if you don't have my knife, you know, some shit's going to go down. And I'm like, I'm not going to fight this guy. I don't have a gun or anything. I would have shot his ass. And uh, I basically said, I gave everything to my girlfriend. And we went outside. We got in my friend's, one of my buddies was going to take me back to my house. And I've left something in my I left something in the room. I needed to go back. I, it was a phone or something. I can't remember exactly. And I had to go back. And basically, I I got the phone. I got whatever I needed to get out of the room right there. I pick up the Moab. Unfortunately, we do lose this, but it was a great comeback. I joined late, and we were losing really bad. But anyways, I go back to the room. I get whatever it was, and I'm I start running like I taking a back way outside of the house. And this gigantic fucking you know guy sees me and starts chasing me and I tell my buddy you know go start going I'm jumping in the car while it's moving I jump in his car while it's moving and I look back and this guy is running like a fucking gazelle he's chasing the car Un you know which is kind of stupid because I didn't have his fucking knife later that night he found his knife laying on the ground and uh basically I fucking almost got murdered by and I, I also find out one of my friends was friends with this gigantic man he uh, just recently got out of prison as well. So uh, luckily I got away and I got away safely. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video and this gameplay. If you did, leave a thumbs up rating. Let me know what you want to see next. And peace the fuck out, YouTube.
me an instrumental, just get along. Stuck in the present, but my soul is in the renaissance. I'm time to set a sound, lighting up the room. And when I die, all I ask is put a mic up in my tomb. Right is the womb, the hype is finna bloom. High res, and yes, there's a hyphen up in the tomb. So I let my mind float, till the pain disappear. I'm getting hella close to my once disappears. I look in the mirror and ask myself why. Tell me what's your motivation, tell me what's your drive. Do you do it for the money or the love of it? Are you gonna quit? Have you had enough of it?